say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rest we watch who were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air God proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the I want to begin by congratulating you for completing your South University degree program. As I look back over the past year, I am amazed at the class of 2021's ability to persevere against so many unknowns, to adapt to new opportunities, to collaborate, and to step up to support your communities. Class of 2021, you did not allow this time to slow you down, but instead you found ways to accomplish your goals and your dreams. As the world continues to accelerate past the pandemic, we are all reevaluating our priorities and using the lessons learned during this time to change how we approach our future. You are about to embark on a journey in a world that has learned the importance of connection, kindness, and community. The agility that you exemplified to get to this day has prepared you to handle the many obstacles that life may bring your way. I hope that as you enter the next life chapter that you use the momentum that you've gained at South University to help you shape a brighter future for all of us. You can do that by exhibiting grace, showing compassion, and living with flexibility. Approach every hurdle that you encounter with the curiosity and the tenacity that you gave here. Don't let the fear of the unknown define you. You haven't let that happen at South University, so continue to embrace challenges and opportunities as they come to you in your life. Again, congratulations graduates of the class of 2021 and now alumni of South University. I am so humbled to witness the start of your next journey. Welcome. I am Dr. Candace Steele. I'm the Campus Director for Academic Affairs and Operations for Montgomery. And this is our 2021 commencement. While this year has been a challenging one for all of us, I believe there are some lessons that we can learn, not just from what program you have gone through, but from the pandemic and things that we have shared. First, our families are important to our well-being. They have been with us throughout this pandemic and we have survived because of our families. We have seen a trend in this nation and here at home Multi-generational families are now living together, sharing resources, and not just for financial reasons. Parents, I want to let you know, conventional wisdom now says it is okay for your adult children to move back home. Enjoy their company and their help. Two, technology has become a way of life. From GoToMeeting to Kaltura, online banking, ordering groceries online, telehealth, you name it. 
we have become dependent on technology and we are not going back. Faculty that I never expected to use technology are now sharing their expertise with others. It goes to show you just how adaptable we are when technology becomes the only safe way to continue to live our lives and stay connected. Who can forget our grandparents learning how to use Zoom and our grandmother saying, can they really see me now? Oh me. Third, we have learned to appreciate what we have. Many of you may have experienced shortages in things that you want or need for the very first time. Who would have thought that grocery stores would be running out of bread, paper towels, cleaning supplies, and other necessities? You know, maybe that Mick Jagger song, and yes, I know I'm dating myself, you can't always get what you want, was really referring to the pandemic. We came to appreciate the little things of life, like acts of kindness and gratitude, giving to others, and most of all, just living our lives. Fourth, we've learned about COVID security protocol. After a year, I'm still looking for a mask that doesn't fog my glasses. However, I can measure six feet of distance with a single glance, and I can read a smile from someone's eyes, even with a mask on. And my hearing has improved, or at least my husband says so, but that may be because I have to listen so closely when someone is talking with their mask on. We've learned about proper hand washing techniques, how to make our own hand sanitizer, and don't forget about SimTim. We've actually learned about technology that keeps us safe. But seriously, we've learned how to protect ourselves and others from the spread of a dangerous virus, skills that will serve us well in the future. Fifth, we've learned about the importance of essential workers. Those individuals that worked in the hospitals, the clinics, that delivered our groceries, our mail, our packages, who can forget Amazon? They were the teachers and staff at our elementary, middle, and high schools, and the various businesses that stayed open to serve us during this time. Most of all, I want to thank our faculty and staff at South University, who strived every day to provide students with an exceptional educational experience under extraordinary circumstances. Students, I want to thank you for your ability to adapt, to be resilient, to be able to survive during this time. What you have accomplished is amazing. And I want you to have faith in a future that's made brighter by your dedication, your commitment, and most of all, your achievements. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce our speaker. Mr. and soon-to-be Dr. Marshall Taggart. He is the first African-American Executive Airport Director at Montgomery Regional Airport. Marshall has over 20 years of leadership experience in the industry and has served in diverse leadership positions during this time. Director Taggart was awarded the President's Lifetime Achievement for National and Community Service by former President Barack Obama. He holds a bachelor's degree in accounting, a master of public administration degree from Clark Atlanta University. Mr. Taggart is currently completing his dissertation for his doctorate in political science with dual concentrations in urban and U.S. politics from Clark Atlanta University. He has been married for 21 years to the former Sherry L. Foster, also a Clark Atlanta University alumni, and Marshall and his wife are parents of two adult children, William Joseph and Lauren Kristen. Both of their children have graduated with honors from college and high school in 2021. With pleasure, I introduce you to Mr. Taggart. Good morning and congratulations to the classes of 2020, 2021. This is a great time to be alive, great time to be here in Montgomery, Alabama, and a great time to be a student at South University. 
but wait a minute, you guys are not students anymore, you're graduates of the illustrious South University uh, in various fields. And myself, as well as the faculty, the staff, including me as a professor here at South University, want to congratulate you on your accomplishments. My name is Marshall Taggart. I serve as the Executive Airport Director for Montgomery Regional Airport, and I'm here today to bring to you your commencement address. And I promise you I will be brief, but impactful. In this case, you are part of the classes that have went through a unprecedented time. You, in turn, have went through and matriculated during a pandemic. So you faced unconquerable odds of really trying to work, to be in school, and also to maintain your daily lives. Some of you also, too, have had family members that may have perished from COVID-19. And so to that, I wanted to tell you and offer you my deep condolences if that applies to you. We know that you have been through this whole health crisis and we're still going through this health crisis as we in turn enter our summer months. And so I wish you definite health and strength and to make sure that you get vaccinated in the very near future. In addition to balancing work life family, you in turn have went through unconquerable odds. And so give yourselves a round of applause here because you deserve it. Uh, if your families are listening here, we know you balance work life family. And so also too, for those mothers, those aunts, those uncles, those grandmothers who have sacrificed for you, I wanna give them also too a round of applause. You can also hug them as well. So with that being said, balancing that work family life perspective gave you a tremendous perspective to understand about how life truly works. When you have an, an daunting odds that are against you, you in turn persevere. And for that, that is what South University graduates are made of. They're tough, they're strong, they're resilient. And in turn, they also graduate and become productive leaders in society. So where, what's up for next in this case? Some of you I know have graduated from the College of Business. All the folks that uh, pretty much who are gonna be entrepreneurs who are going to, going to go out here and contribute to corporations, but also more importantly too, to work for nonprofits in other areas. The sky's the limit. Where are you headed are nursing and public health professionals. For those people that are gonna be in healthcare who are going to deal with this whole issue of crises and also contributing to dealing with addressing COVID-19. Also the health professions, for those folks that are coming out of that college, you in turn are going to be administrators. We have a, a big un, influx of people, seniors, who are gonna be getting into the area where they're gonna need assistance and care. But this also this mental health profession component is also too a booming opportunity for you to be able to make a difference and challenge in your communities. And the other piece, arts and sciences. All of our political scientists, folks who are criminal justice majors, for those individuals, you're going to make a tremendous impact in terms of impacting people's lives. Some of you may go into fields of teaching because we need you to definitely impact our young people in Montgomery and around the country. But I do want to tell you from a perspective, you are headed for whatever field that you've achieved in terms of your degree. You in terms are here to impact the community and also the world. Yes, I said it, the world. This is gonna be an opportunity for you to be able to go out and make an impact and change. And that's kind of what I do from a profession as well as teaching, but me serving as executive airport director, we're in the midst of change. We're trying to add additional flights to our airport. We're also too looking to add a consolidated rental car facility at our airport. We're also looking to do car rental here. And I can't do this alone. I have a great team that's in place. And again, we also have a board of directors who in turn lead that and deal with the change by policy. I in turn run the day to day. I've been here in Montgomery for two years. But what I've seen about this resilient city is that it is really on the move. And you are to be proud of the fact that you came from a campus also too on the move under the leadership of Dr. Candace Steele. She and her staff here are doing a fantastic job of really preparing those leaders that will in turn transition into the workplace. So I wish you well in terms of how you're proceeding to in turn look for a position. You don't have a job or still confused about understanding about what your next move will be. 
Well, just know that next move will be part of the change. Part of the change that would have to deal with a post-COVID environment. Part of the change of trying to deal with the policies that are implemented. Uh, part of the change of dealing with the whole aspect of life styles in the area and also understanding about where you are by living in the river region. We want you to know that you are a valuable player as it relates to how you proceed in your careers, in your lifestyles, and also too as part of your core values. You want your core values to be a perspective of definitely respect, of being ethical, and clearly understanding how to deal with people in the sense of being customer centric. Always look at all of your internal and your external individuals on whom you deal with as your stakeholders. We at here at South University congratulate you. We're very, very proud of you. We've, we like the fact that you chose this university and we want you to in turn to re make recommendations as an alumni of this university that this is a, actual a educational institution of choice. Again, congratulations to class of 2020. I am so glad that you're able to participate in this virtual ceremony. In addition, congratulations to the class of 2021. You are poised to be the best. Both of these classes are gonna be definite history makers and we're looking forward to the legacies that in which you're going to build. Again, South University, congratulations. And again, let's go get it. Thank you, Mr. Taggart. I know our students enjoyed your message. Now it's time for a special award recognizing the achievement of one of our alumni from this campus. South University takes pride in providing the highest standards of academics and in helping to shape the character of our students. Our philosophy of lifelong learning encompasses the continual personal growth of our students by emphasizing the importance of community involvement and volunteerism. Each year, we select one outstanding alumni that represents these values. This year, our 2021 Alumni Achievement Award goes to Marcus Mayton. Now, Marcus Mayton earned a degree from our Physical Therapy Assistant Program at South University in 2008. Currently, he is the Center Manager for Rehab Associates and has been with that facility since 2009. Marcus was born in Eugene, Oregon and was raised in Texas. His clinical interests include orthopedic and sports rehabilitation as well as manual therapy. In his free time, he enjoys spending time with his family, his friends, and his dog. He also enjoys hunting, fishing, the outdoors and pulling for the Crimson Tide. Thank you, Dr. Steele. I am honored and humbled to be this year's recipient of the Alumni Achievement Award. You know, it was the education that I received here at South University that laid the foundation for my career, but it was the mentorship and guidance from the faculty like Dr. Berryman and Dr. St. Martin that guided me to being more than just a PTA. So to you, the class of 2021, I challenge you to take on every responsibility, every obstacle that falls in your path, because those challenges lead to opportunities and those opportunities lead to growth and growth leads to success. So good luck and God bless. Hello everyone, my name is Faith Berryman, a physical therapist and director of the Physical Therapist Assistant Program here at South University Montgomery. I'd like to uh, Congratulate all of the PTA graduates. I know they've put in a lot of hard work this year, especially considering we've had to contend with all of these medical changes related to COVID. Hang in there, folks. Just got to pass that board and you'll be ready to roll. Morning or good afternoon. I'm Dr. Alan Dunlap. I'm the program director for public health, health sciences, medical assisting. I like to take this moment to just say congratulations a heartfelt uh, congratulations to you, your family, and all your friends. Going to miss you in the classroom, but you've earned the right to move on. You've had to overcome some pretty challenging things during this year, uh, COVID being one. They'll be writing about this probably for the next hundred of years, but I'd like to tell you congratulations. Be the change you want to see in this world.
Thank you. Hey, graduates. Congratulations. This is Dr. Lisa Keith. I am the academic success coordinator here at South University, also the interim program director for psychology and helper with criminal justice. I can't tell you how proud I am, especially the fact that I got to watch most of you through this entire journey. I may have dri driven some of y'all batty with my notes and my emails and my how are you doing and hey, let me help you and all my little cheerleading things. But you guys gave me a reason to, um, to just have a 62-year-old lady love students. You have earned it. You have been through COVID. You've done things that nobody's done before. So now take what you've gotten from South University and go make your mark on this earth. I am so proud of you. Congratulations. Hey, and there are others out there. You've made them proud. You are the role model. You bring them back to South because we. Li I'd like to meet your children, your grandchildren, and everybody else. Have a great day. Congratulations. Bye. Hi, everybody. My name is uh, Dr. Kalei Mugilin. I am the Program Director for Healthcare Management, all the business programs, IT leadership programs. And I'm so happy for you. I am happy for myself. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. All the times you wondered if you'll finish, all the times you wondered if you wanted to do this, the time you thought you're going to do this and you did it. And you are here. And I am so happy, so proud, and looking forward for you to doing so many wonderful things in the world. Don't lose contact with all of us. We will all will continue our journey together. But although you have graduated, we can help you, resumes, and whatever not. And I'm so proud of you. Good luck. Do well. Peace. Hi, I am Dr. Brandy Young, the Program Director of the South University College of Nursing Montgomery campus. To the class of 2021, congratulations. Your journey has been long. It has been very eventful. There have been many things that have arisen that you have overcome. This honor is well deserved. To our nursing graduates, I would like to read a special poem. Nurses have a unique perspective, an understanding of how precious life is. This perspective is a gift. Always remember that you are making a difference every single day in someone's life, no matter how big or how small. You will give your patients the ability to live their lives to the fullest. You will be a light in their lives during many times of darkness. You will be their hope and their guide. You will be there to comfort them when they have pain and when they reach sorrow. This is a great privilege you will have. Please don't take it lightly. Believe in yourself and always your ability to impact the lives of others. I know each of you will make a difference and do great things and we will be here cheering you on along the way. I am truly grateful that I've had this opportunity to embark upon this journey with you. Congratulations, class of 2021. Graduates, it is now that time you have all been waiting for. With the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and by the State of Alabama, I pronounce you 2021 graduates of South University, Montgomery. It is with great pleasure I present the graduates of 2021. Linda Diane McCall, Doctor of Ministry. Tallulah E. Miller, Doctor of Ministry. Sennacherib El Beatty, Master of Business Administration. Tommy O. Bishop, Master of Business Administration. Jacqueline Y. Fields, Master of Business Administration. James G. Washington, Master of Business Administration. Christy M. Whaley, Master of Business Administration. Ashley Brown, Master of Healthcare Administration. 
Ariel N. Cook. Master of Healthcare Administration. Jeremy Glenn. Master of Healthcare Administration. Honors. Jessica M. Hale. Master of Healthcare Administration. Jasmine R. Hendricks. Master of Healthcare Administration. Ashley Mangum. Master of Healthcare Administration. Angela Miller. Master of Healthcare Administration. Akia K. Pitts. Master of Healthcare Administration. Jaquasha S. Rumpf. Master of Healthcare Administration. Audra Baker Sampley. Master of Healthcare Administration. Honors. Latara S. Smith. Master of Healthcare Administration. Jasmine Valentine. Master of Healthcare Administration. Dorothy J. Allison. Master of Science in Criminal Justice. High Honors. Jada R. McPherson. Master of Science in Criminal Justice. Travera E. Walker. Master of Science in Criminal Justice. Charity M. White. Master of Science in Criminal Justice. Clifton Giovanni Gibbons. Master of Science in Information Systems. High Honors. We made it, family and friends. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all, especially Paul, for rooting in my corner and keeping me focused. Love you all. Connell D. McCree. Master of Science in Information Systems. Gregory T. Williams. Master of Science in Information Systems. High Honors. Alicia Sample. Master of Science in Nursing. Monica K. Pierce. Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Jermaine Ballard. Bachelor of Business Administration. First and foremost, I would like to thank the Lord above. Um, without him, nothing is possible. I would also like to say thank you to everyone who has contributed to this journey. Jamelia Luella Cherry. Bachelor of Business Administration. Alicia N. Hutchins, Bachelor of Business Administration. Shaquenita D. Payne, Bachelor of Business Administration. Brady Sumrall, Bachelor of Business Administration. Cum Laude. Derek Craig, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Cum Laude. Anna M. Edge. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Jeremiah Gardner. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Cum Laude. Jacandrel A. Lewis. Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Management. Cedric Judkins. Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Kira A. Freeman. Bachelor of Science in Legal Studies. Lashonda Washington. Bachelor of Science in Legal Studies. Magna Cum Laude. Giving honor to God, to my family, my friends, my biggest supporters, my mother, my aunt. Thank you all so much for embarking on this journey with me. It's been a long one. Ashley Baker. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Christina Estelle Bolden, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Tia L. Brown, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Hannah Cleland, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Sydney Dishman, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Donesha Drake, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Tanya Herbert. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. 
Magna Cum Laude. Makiba S. Holyfield. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Crystal Houston. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Sherry Johnson. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Magna Cum Laude. April N. Jones. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Magna Cum Laude. Holly Kilgore. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Sharon N. King. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Marilyn Lee. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Daylin Martin. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Kenya C. Miles. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Shakita N. Murray. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Christina Schwalb, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Dennis A. Shelton, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Akimi Smith, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Shioma Uma, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Magna Cum Laude. Jasmine B. Urquhart, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Tashima Woods, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Liquetta Woods, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Caitlin M. Wright, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Trey Mesa C. Baker, Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Ashley Jones, Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Amber Varner Jackson, Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Marcusia C. Givend, Associate of Science in Medical Assisting. Thanks for the support, guys. Love y'all, class of 2021. It's only up from here. Ayana M. Miles, Associate of Science in Medical Assisting. Congratulations, class of 2021. I would like to thank my family, my friends, for always supporting me and praying for me during this tough journey. I love you guys. My mom made it. Marlena L. Tipton, Associate of Science in Medical Assisting. Austin D. Adams, Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Caitlin Andrews, Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Akeem Appleton, Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Brianna B. Augustine, Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Cum laude. Hannah Beidelman, Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Jennifer Biles, Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Brandon Boyer, Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Cum laude. Michael Bozeman, Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Shayna Bridges, Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Robert C. Broughton, Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Michael P. Davis, Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Rachel M. Dunham, Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Deshart Edwards, Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Summa Cum Laude. Adrian Ellis. Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Jada D. Felder AG. 
Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Hey y'all, just want to say thank you to my family and friends for supporting me on this journey. I love you guys so much. I cannot wait to see what the future holds. Love you guys. That's bye. Jessica Graves, Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Ebony D. Green, Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Albert Gerleski, Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Magna Cum Laude. Jordan Hamilton, Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Cum Laude. Jessica C. Hammonds, Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Courtney Hayward. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Jennifer N. Hendricks. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Cum Laude. Jordan Hollins. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Cum Laude. Mariana Houston. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Cum Laude. Megan Lavelle. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Cum Laude. Bree P. Magnus. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Samantha A. Mance. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Stephen A. Metcalf. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Cum Laude. Bailey Mount. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Jordan A. Posh. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Francesca A. Pugliese Baggett. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Cum Laude. Tiffany T. Shepard, Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant, Cum Laude. Kara A. Silcox, Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant, Cum Laude. Johanna L. Smith, Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant, Victoria A. Stallworth. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Magna Cum Laude. Adrian C. Weaver. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Thank you all for being with us. Graduates, your journey is just beginning. And I've always felt that this quote by C.S. Lewis was very appropriate at graduation, and no more so than this year. Think about this. There are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. We are so proud of you and all that you have accomplished at South University. So go forth and do good things. Thank you.